you are now a conscript of the moles. I'm not a sidekick. I'm second in command. Uh, you know what? No, this ain't the time. We got trouble. The boss went to the great mine along with her Diggertron, and she refused to let anyone go with her. I feel like she's doing something dangerous. You have to go check on her for us. Diggertron is Diggertron. As long as the boss has it with her, you can expect a good fight. Fursman is in the mines. It seems like the boss heard some bad news about him and then just ran in there. Oh, there's lots of bad guys in the mines. Miss Natasha said kids ain't allowed to go in. Go check on her for us now. He's Hook's daddy. And he's like a daddy to everyone in the moles. He's like a great person. Thank you. Uh, please hurry. Calm down, calm down. We're all here to work for a living. Why not sit down and talk it out? Save it. We treated you as our leader, but look how you treated us. Such a rat. You sold the intel about the vein to Antonia, but we discovered it first. Now we've lost the mine, and we have to work for those guys. Traitor! <sighs> well, nothing to say for yourself, huh? So you admit that you sold the intel to the mining team? Go away, you brute! Don't bully my daddy! <laughs> oh, little Hook? Oh, no, no, you have it wrong. It's your daddy who bullied us first. Ask him if you don't believe me. Daddy? Yes, I told Antonia about the vein. But I was the first one to discover it. I have the right to do anything with it. <sighs> it's only because you have that detector. Let's see who's boss when we take it from you. Back off. I was thinking about the bigger picture when I did that. Unlike you all who just look for trouble every day. Well, I think someone needs to teach you a lesson. Guys, get him. You'll never lay a finger on Daddy without passing through Hook. Another punching bag? Fine by me. I'll kick all your butts. Daddy, are you hurt? Uh, just a few scratches. How about you, Hook? Don't worry about me. I have Diggertron. No one can hurt me. Good. That's good. And uh, you, young lady, are you hurt? Thank you for your help. Don't be afraid, young lady. Your injury isn't fatal. Uh, I remember. You are the outsiders Natasha mentioned before, right? I heard that you helped resolve some conflicts around the mines when you arrived. And again today, <laughs> when you saved my life. What a noble young spirit you have. Thank you very much. Daddy, let's go to the old witch's clinic. You're seriously hurt. But the vein detector that Rapscallion was after, somebody already stole it from me. I need to keep searching, otherwise I might never see it again. It's just a tool. I guess I should let it go. Let's head to the clinic. I've taken care of your wounds. I'm running short on medical supplies these days, though, so behave yourselves and stay away from trouble. You hear me? Don't pretend you didn't hear that, Hook. I'm talking to you. Hook wasn't the one that caused trouble. It was those bad guys. We were just defending ourselves and ask her. Hey, whose side are you on? I'm glad we're on the same page. We can't just let this kid do whatever she wants. <sighs> That's enough for now. I'll say this one last time, Hook. If you cause any trouble again, I'll take Diggertron away. Do you understand? Mm, Hook understands. The boss of the moles should stick to her word. <laughs> I have patience to take care of. See you later. Thank you again. I if it weren't for you and Dr. Natasha, Hook and I probably would have been in big trouble. 
Well, a few days ago, I found a Geomarrow vein using a vein detector, and I sold this info to Antonia, a, a supervisor of the mining team. Then, those vagrants heard about it and accused me of being a traitor. They believe that since I'm also a vagrant who came from another mine and ended up in here for a living, I should naturally be on their side. The mining team could not agree with that, of course. <sighs> I'm just too old for this. Daddy? Are we short on money? Why did you do that? My poor child. Daddy is old now. <clears throat> Who knows how long I can stay by your side. I have to start preparing for your future. People say I'm selfish, think I'm a traitor, but it doesn't matter to me. All you need to know is when I'm gone, you will have the money to take care of yourself and survive on your own. Daddy... Forget about it. Since I've got the money from the mining team, I have nothing to complain about now. It's... Just a shame that I lost my vein detector. It was indeed a treasure. I guess so. It's an ancient relic that can detect geomarrow veins. It's very rare. I haven't seen a second one in my life. I often carried it around looking for a new claim. I suppose some villains must have taken notice. Well, anyway, I guess I don't need the detector anymore. The less trouble, the better. I shouldn't care who stole my device. <laughs> Whoever it was, I hope they get good use out of it. Hook seems to be giving me a look that says, Hook wants to talk to you outside the clinic now. So that's why people call eyes the windows to the soul. you to help with something. Well, I haven't said what we're gonna do, but that's the spirit. You truly are an honorary member of the moles. That detector is daddy's treasure, so I gotta get it back. You'll help me, won't you? All right, then. I'll be waiting for you at the shelter in the mine, big sister. Uh, I mean... Uh. Uh. Let me introduce you to Sweta. She is Daddy's most trusted miner. Uh, not at all. Mr. Fursman trusts every vagrant, and every one of us trusts Mr. Fursman. But after what happened over at that Geomarrow vein, the atmosphere at the shelter became a bit tense. I'm here to find Daddy's treasure, his vein detector. I heard that someone stole it. Is that true? Well, I would guess that's probably true. After the conflict in the mine, Wildfire gathered everyone out of the shelter and took a head count to check on the wounded. Four people were not there. When we returned to the shelter, Mr. Fursman's detector was gone. We searched all around the shelter, but found nothing. I guess one of those four people was the thief. Indeed. Now we can narrow down the scope of our search considerably. We vagrants have our dignity, too. I'm sure we will catch the thief, but... But... what? Actually, we've already asked those four suspects about it. They all claim to not have stolen anything. Of course, we could never expect thieves to confess and turn themselves in, right? In my opinion, one of those four was lying. <sighs> Doesn't seem likely. All four suspects are at the shelter. If you're feeling confident, why not give it a try? Maybe you can determine who the thief is. Ugh, adults are so dishonest. Hook's gonna question them one by one. Did you steal Daddy's detector? Nope. I'm no thief. Really? Then you better answer our questions honestly. Ask away. Let's not waste time. Mm, spacing out. Didn't notice anything. 
Good man, but a bit of a cheapskate. Nope. What detector? Hey, would you mind talking more nicely? What? I always talk like this. I don't feel like she's the thief. I know! Hmm? Hook? What's the matter? Did you steal Daddy's detector? What? Oh, if I'd known I would become a suspect, I wouldn't have gone out at that time. How foolish of me. I, of course not. I didn't do anything wrong. We just need you to answer a few questions. Okay. Ask away. It would be good to clear myself of suspicion. Nothing special. I just went out to get some fresh air. Oh dear, oh dear. I know that's a lame alibi, but I swear it's the truth. Mr. Firstman, he's a good person. Though, oh, it, uh, never mind. Oh, no, oh, no. I must sound very suspicious, but I really didn't do anything. You have to believe me. Detector? No, I haven't seen anything, and I don't know anything. Is that all the questions you have? Have I proven my innocence? Oh dear. All this waiting around is enough to make me even more anxious. Did you steal Daddy's detector? What? How could you say that? You're gonna make me angry. You know what a businessman values the most? Reputation. If your slander ruins my reputation and harms my business, you'll pay for that. Uh, well, then answer our questions. We'll decide if we believe you or not. I have the right to remain silent. I withhold my opinion toward this question. No comment. Oh, you would... <sighs> I'll give you one more chance. Think carefully and give your answer to Diggertron this time. I've seen all sorts of things in my life. Why would I be afraid of you two little rascals? <sighs> Here, how about we make a deal? I'll tell you what I know in exchange for a small intel service fee. Fair and honest. Well, looks like I can only continue exercising my right to remain silent. It's up to you. Trying to threaten me with wildfire, huh? <laughs> you think I'm afraid of them? Huh. Let's tell Zila to take him away. Huh? Uh, no, please don't. Look, I, I was only joking. Fine, I'll answer your questions. Please just don't pull wildfire into this. I went into town to restock. Nothing out of the ordinary, right? I restock on a regular basis, everyone knows that. I was wondering why there was nobody at the shelter. Bursman is an old customer of mine. He's pretty nice to me, though we are not so close. As to what he did about that Geomero van, it was kind of unethical. We're all neighbors. We've known each other for a long time. But he sold out to the other side and left his own people out to dry. I really can't agree with that. Look, the cook is definitely the thief, I'm sure about that. I value my reputation more than anything, so you can trust me. In my line of work, I've learned to read people. And something's definitely fishy with that cook, I can tell from the start. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone. I didn't steal it. Really? It wasn't me. Keep it moving. I didn't steal any detector. Well, well, well. What's this? Playing detective, are we? Spill it! Did you steal my daddy's detector? You little brat. How dare you label me a thief? Someone needs to give you a good lesson on manners. 
I'm an honest and decent man. I'd never do such a shit. <laughs> Anyone can say that. If you really didn't steal anything, then just answer our questions. Oh, you have a temper, huh? All right, I'll spare a couple minutes for your little detective game. I'm a cook. What else would I be doing? Don't you notice the smoky cooking smell all over me? It's just that I happen to be out shopping for ingredients at that time. Otherwise, who'd want anything to do with this kind of thing? That old Fursman was kind to me. When we were at Rivet Town, he put me in charge of the whole mining team's food supply. And it's because I trusted him that I came to this mine with him. I mean, I didn't expect he would take that money for himself. Anyway, he found that Geomero vein by himself, so I won't blame him for not sharing. But you know, what he did was not like the old Fursman I knew. Well, I don't want to be a snitch, but out of my respect for Fursman, I'll tell you a secret. The helper over there? I saw him sneak into Fursman's tent and come out holding a box. See? Isn't he the most suspicious one? <laughs> I don't care if you believe me or not. I've told you all I know. Now leave me alone if you don't have any more questions. I'm busy. Don't worry, I've written it all down for you. Remember, among these four people, only the real thief would lie. <sighs> the cook said the helper did it. The tailor said it wasn't her. The merchant said it was the cook, and the helper said it wasn't him. So, do you know who the culprit is? I think the cook and merchant are the most suspicious. My gut tells me that one of them is the culprit. But don't worry. Even if you choose the wrong one, Pitch Dark Hook the Great has other ways to uncover the true culprit. Right. We have other methods besides deductive reasoning to find out who the true thief is. Let's just examine what they've said first to decide. <sighs> the cook said the helper did it. The tailor said it wasn't her. The merchant said it was the cook. And the helper said it wasn't him. So, do you know who the culprit is? Hmm. Well, I don't know why, but I'll trust your judgment. Come on, let's go accuse the culprit. Figured it out. You're the one who stole Daddy's detector. What? <laughs> you have the wrong person. I didn't steal anything. <laughs> I knew you'd suspect me. I shouldn't have returned to the shelter at that time. If only I had to return to the shelter. I really didn't do it. I don't know anything. You, you just think I'm a pushover. That's why you're treating me like this. <laughs> well, well, you deduced wrong. What kind of reasoning are you even using? I beg you, I never even stole pocket money from my parents as a kid. How no wrong it is at first. Huh. Maybe he really isn't the thief. Hook doesn't think he's lying. Just think about it. Sweta said that only the real thief would lie to us. If the thief really is the helper, then what he and the merchant said would both be wrong. Huh. Adults are all so unreliable. Let's go look for more clues. The label must have been on this box. Wait a minute. What is that smell? <laughs> It's got a spicy smell. Hmm, this smells like stone grilled oom. Not too many people smell like this. Oh, and the thief appears to have taken Daddy's treasure. 
And it seems that this damaged probe is one of the detector's components. Has Daddy's treasure been sold already? Oh, here could the thief have gone. Hmm. Think, Hook. Think. Oh, yeah. I saw Mr. Sampo on the way to the mine when I came here. Could he be involved in this? Follow Hook! Mr. Sampo should be that away! My friend, are you serious? This device is quite rare. Are you really willing to sell it to me at such a low price? No, no, why are you making this so complicated? Do you want it or not? Just tell me. You two stop right there! Pitch Dark Hook the Great has arrived! Wait a second. Let's all just calm down. Is there something wrong with the source of this stuff? I mean, I got nothing to do with it. I, I gotta make this clear. I have nothing to do with this fella. You have to trust me. Miss Hook, please don't point that thing at me. It's scary. Hey, how can you sell me out like that? We had a deal. You, you stole daddy's treasure. Diggertron will not spare you. This, this is all that old Fersman's fault. Just because he has this device I'm holding, he can make a fortune. It's not fair. Um, well, it seems you guys have some issues to sort out, so maybe I should leave. <laughs> what kind of a reason are you looking for? W with the underworld in such a sad state, how are we supposed to survive if we don't resort to robbing and stealing? <clears throat> anyway, I got the device now. Come take it, if you have the guts. Diggertron, get ready. You sure talk tough for someone who can't fight. Come on, hand the detector over to Hook. Hmm. Oh, Daddy's treasure! It's broken! What? What? Hey! Now this is Sampo's time to shine. Of course! I wouldn't want to miss out on seeing you and Miss Hook's acts of heroism, would I? Listen here. There's a fellow in Boulder Town they call... Balloway the Miner's Lamp? He's an appraiser. Although he claims that he doesn't do appraisals anymore for ancient relics, he actually still does a bit behind the scenes for ones that are of especially high value. I think this device of yours is probably worth a lot. It might be a good idea to try your luck with Balloway. Here's a trick. First, pretend that you want to sell it for a low price, then wait for him to excitedly fix the device for you. After it's fixed, tell him you changed your mind and you want to keep it for yourself. This business tactic is what I call a bait and switch. Pretty clever, huh? Halloween the Miner Slamp. Got it. Thanks, Mr. Sampo. Let's go into town to find him. Have a safe trip. I'm already retired from appraising ancient relics, so unless this detector is some kind of precious treasure... Oh, look at this! The detector's probe broke off. Can you fix it? Hmm. Oh, ho, ho. This certainly is a rare relic. Let me take a closer look. Oh, yes! Look extra close. You have to help Hook fix it. This device... I've been in the business for a long time, but never have I seen an ancient relic like this one before. I think this is probably beyond repair. But still, it is a rare treasure. Even broken, I'd be willing to pay a high price for it. What do you say? The detector's probe is gone. It's like searching for something without eyes or ears. Who's going to want a pile of junk? I don't believe any other stores will buy it off you. Come on, I'll give you a nice deal. Hmm. All right then, let's go find 
Daddy. Where have you been, Hook? I was just about to go looking for you. Come on, let's go home. I'll cook some salt-baked rock crabs for you. <sighs> What's wrong with this kid? Vein detector? The one I lost? Big Sister and Hook helped Daddy catch the thief that stole it. But... Daddy's detector... is broken. It's all my fault. If only I could have found it sooner. So it was stolen. Uh, uh, you're not hurt, are you, Hook? I'm fine. Um, Daddy, can you see if your detector still works? Mm. The Geo Marrow probe is damaged. I'm afraid this thing won't work anymore. <sighs> I'm sorry, Daddy. I didn't help one bit. What are you apologizing for? <laughs> Thank you so much for looking out for me, Hook. But... Hawk, Daddy's true treasure has been here all along. He was never lost or broken. <laughs> you can cry. The detector helped me find lots of Geomarrow veins, and it saved the mining team a lot of money. In that respect, it was a very good thing. But at the end of the day, the detector is... Just a tool. A true treasure must have irreplaceable importance to someone. Uh, doesn't really understand. <laughs> it's okay. I'm saying some things that might seem strange, but you will understand someday. So, the treasure daddy's talking about is still happily running and jumping around. Daddy! <laughs> you... You're not allowed to see her cry! <laughs> <laughs>